<laughs> now a closer look at the Values Voter Summit in Washington. It was held by the Family Research Council. That's a social conservative group. And the weekend got off to a rousing start on Friday night when a prominent Texas pastor criticized Mitt Romney and his Mormon faith while introducing Texas Governor Rick Perry. The Southern Baptist Convention, which is the largest Protestant denomination in the world, has officially labeled Mormonism as a cult. Uh, I think Mitt Romney's a good moral man, but I think those of us who are born-again followers of Christ should always prefer a competent Christian to a competent, to a uh, competent non-Christian like Mitt Romney. Joining us from Indianapolis to talk more about Reverend Jeffress's remarks about Mitt Romney and the Mormon faith and Ron Paul's victory in the Values Voter Straw Poll is the president of the Family Research Council, Tony Perkins. Welcome. Good morning, Carol. Uh, Mitt Romney did not fare so well at the summit. Not only was his religion called a cult, he did not fare well in the Value Voter Straw Poll. Last time around, he actually won. This year, the winner was Ron Paul. I mean, Ron Paul is not exactly well known as a Christian conservative. Well, first off, those comments uh, by uh, Pastor Jeffress were, were not said from the stage. It was a sidebar conversation he had with pastors, or uh, rather with reporters. And, and this, uh, what we're doing here is we're, we, I don't want to gloss over the fact that there are theological differences between uh, evangelicals and Mormons, but that was certainly not the focus of the Values Voter Summit and not the focus of FRC. We're not trying to build a national church. We're trying to build a, a coalition across this country based on values. Mitt Romney articulated those values uh, this year. Uh, he's not been working them as hard as he was four years ago, which I think is what's reflective in the poll. You know, Ron Paul, let me just say this, we had over 3,000 people registered for the event. Uh, over 600 of them showed up just on Saturday morning to hear Ron Paul's uh, speech, uh, vote for him, and then leave. I think, I don't want to take away the credit that is due to that organization, that campaign for organizing, get people out of bed early on a Saturday morning. I wish I could get my kids out of bed that early, but they came down, they voted, they left. I don't think Ron Paul is truly reflective of where value voters stand. So, I think so his, you're his saying your, your own poll outline. results don't mean anything? Well, no, I actually say, you know, st when you look at st uh, statistics, statisticians will look for outliers. I think Ron Paul's, when you look at everything, it's an outlier in this poll. You look at the underlying, you see uh, Herman Cain finishing a strong second, followed by Rick Santorum, Michelle Bachman, and Rick Perry. Those are more reflective, I think, of actually the other polls and what's happening in the social conservative community. So Ron Paul probably means nothing, but Herman Cain does. <laughs> Well, uh, well, well, this is the majority of people came there for the weekend for a summit to hear all of the candidates. They didn't come there to support a particular candidate. They came to listen to the candidates and express their preference. Mm -hmm. You know, Ron Paul bust in over 600 people on Saturday morning, not to attend the conference, but just to hear his speech and vote. Now, they all paid their registration fees. We, we were, it's an open invitation. Anybody can come, but individuals have to register, and they did that. The campaign tried to buy blocks of tickets early. We refused to sell them blocks of tickets, so they brought individuals. So I give them credit for being organized, and I do say that just like what we see happening on Wall Street and other parts of the country, we should not discount the fact there's a lot of discontent with big ineffective government that's taking place in this country and I think the Ron Paul campaign reflects that so you uh -huh. can't write it off as saying that it's not important the message that his campaign is sending is something other campaigns right. have to listen to as well right I, I wanted to talk a little bit more about Herman Cain because you know as you said he did well at the values voters summit uh, came in second we've been talking about that he 